In this video, I'm going to show you a data transformation technique called unpivoting that's really useful for preparing certain Excel or CSV text files so that they can be analyzed efficiently in BI tools like Power BI, Tableau, and Looker Studio. Let's jump in. So here's an example of some pivoted data. Sometimes when you export data from certain systems or tools, instead of giving you the raw row level data that could contain thousands of rows, you get data that looks like this. It's data that's been pre-aggregated and pivoted. Pivoted in that we have one dimensions values across the top and a different dimensions values down the side with the corresponding sales value at the intersection of each pair. So this data is fine for visualization in Excel because we can just select all of the values in the table, click insert chart and voila, your chart is ready. But when it comes to BI tools, there are a few things that make this data incompatible for efficient analysis. Let's go through them. First, we have all of these values, but we don't know which metric they relate to. Sure, we have the title here that tells us, but that title doesn't get imported into your BI tool when you load the file. Only the data does. So in order for analysts to know what they're working with, you need to add the word sales to each of these states. Next, when the data is loaded into BI tools, each column is imported as either a metric like sales or a dimension like state. With this data here, the product subcategory will be recognized correctly as a dimension, but all of the individual states will be recognized as individual metrics because all of the values in those columns are numbers. So in order for us to get a total sales for all states, we would need to create a calculation that adds up all of the different state metrics. Alabama sales plus Arizona sales plus California sales, etc, etc. That is not what we want. What we need is to have one single column containing the state dimension and another single column containing the sales values so that we can sum up all of the values in it easily. In order to unpivot this data manually, we'd need to start by taking the product subcategory values like this, then add a state column and a sales column like so. Then we take our state value, Alabama, and paste it into every single row like this. Then paste the sales values for Alabama for all of the product subcategories like this. Then we would need to repeat this for all of the other states. So we would repeat the product subcategories, paste in the next state value for every one of those new rows, and then the corresponding sales values and so on and so forth until all of the data from this table was contained in three neat columns. Now in our BI tool, we can just add our product subcategory dimension and sales metric into a query and create our visualization. Simple. So you might be thinking that this seems like a lot of work to manually copy and paste all of this data into this structure. And you'd be right, it would be if you had to do it manually. But thankfully, you don't have to because Power Query has a dedicated function that will do it for you in just a couple of clicks. If you're unfamiliar with Power Query, it's included with both Excel and Power BI. Let me show you how to do it. In Excel, from the Data tab, I'm going to start by selecting Get Data. I'll choose Excel Workbook and then locate the file with the pivoted data in it. Click Next then select the table or sheet with the data and then hit transform data. We're now in the Power Query interface. To unpivot the data, I'm just going to select all of the columns I want to unpivot, i.e. all of these state columns, then go to the transform tab and hit unpivot columns. And that's it. It's all done for you in a couple of clicks. Now, all you need to do to export it is to select close and load. If you'd like to learn more about Excel, Power Query, Power BI, and loads more as part of a guided best-in-class learning experience, check out my BI Analyst Starter Program via the link in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what other data tutorials you'd like to see me upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye.